are tons of horror movies out there that are perfect examples of why you should never play with an Ouija board. The movies often show the characters getting severely injured, dying, or getting possessed after using the board. Yet, for some reason, people still think it's a good idea to mess with one. So today I'm going to share with you the real hazards of using an Ouija board. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan, and today I'm bringing you the top 10 scary reasons you shouldn't mess with an Ouija board. Starting off this countdown, we have the rules. So for those of you who don't know, Ouija boards come with a strict set of rules. When I was young and dumb, I never knew these rules and me and my friends would just fool around with no care. Seriously, like the board doesn't come with a set of instructions, at least the one that I had didn't. But these rules are super important. Let me stress that again super important. Basically, if you don't accurately follow them, then it puts all the players at risk. So here are some important rules to follow, and in no means is this meant to be like a guide for you to use. So you should always say goodbye when you're done playing. And by saying goodbye, I mean you actually say it verbally and then you move the planchette to goodbye. This should cut the connection between the spiritual world and our world. You also can never tease, disrespect, or make fun of the spirits or board. This angers them. You should never play alone. This makes you more vulnerable to being attacked by evil spirits. Never play in a cemetery. It's pretty self-explanatory. Never ask the board when you're going to die. Never burn the board. Never invite the entity to make noise or show itself. And lastly, never ever leave the planchette on the board. It's considered bad luck. There are several more rules you have to follow, but basically if you mess up the rules or don't don't follow them, then it puts yourself in danger. In our ninth spot, we have the manipulation. Ouija boards open the doors for anything to come through to speak to you. What's scary is that you don't know the intentions of the spirits that you get in contact with. In fact, it's said that evil spirits will often manipulate the players to gain their trust. They may do so by telling you information you want to hear. They may claim that they're a deceased relative, but in turn, they can just say that so that they can gain control of you. Once you let your guard down, thinking you're in contact with the peaceful spirit, then they can use this to get into our world and wreak havoc on your life. Moving on to number eight, we have the connection. If you are foolish enough to play with an Ouija board, just know that you should never use it in your home. The reason being, well, if you don't properly break the connection between the spirits you summoned, then guess what? They are now going to be residing in your home. Basically, they will feed off your energy and try to weaken you to gain control of you. Their energy will constantly be present in your home and you'll be subjected to constant torment. In our seventh spot, we have the malevolent spirits. Like I mentioned before, the Ouija board opens the doors to the spiritual world. There's no way to predict or control what comes through. As a result, you may get in contact with a malevolent spirit with sinister intentions. They could physically and mentally hurt you. Now, if you're using the board and the planchette starts counting down or going through the alphabet, then you should immediately end your session by saying goodbye. A lot of users claim that this is one sign that you have gotten in contact with an evil spirit. Another warning sign is if the planchette repeatedly makes a figure eight or infinity symbol. Again, you should end the session immediately by saying goodbye. This is another thing that evil spirits will do. So stay safe and Please don't allow evil spirits into our world. Moving on to number six, we have the possession. Okay, one of the more obvious reasons to why you shouldn't use the board is because you could become possessed. This isn't a joke. There have been several reports of Ouija boards triggering demonic possessions. In November 2014, 35 students at a school in Bolivia were all sent to the hospital after playing with an Ouija board. It was believed that they all became possessed. They had fallen into a trance-like state, were profusely sweating, were more aggressive, and had rapid pulses. Then over the years, there have been other reports of people getting possessed while using this board. Mexico especially is said to have a lot of reported possessions. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the creepy doll. Now, if you still think that it's okay to play with an Ouija board, then here is a true story that will convince you otherwise. This story was posted on Reddit by the user Jake Nichols. He shares the time that him and his family were using a Ouija board in their basement. Good family bonding, I guess. At first, the board wasn't really working. Then out of nowhere, it said one of the guy's social security number. Then the entity started sharing more creepy personal information. The last thing the entity spelled out was the word doll. Well, 
Prior to playing with the board, the group moved a porcelain doll out of the room and placed it on a stack of towels. They did this because they were creeped out of having the doll in the same room as them. After the Ouija board spelt the word doll, they heard a knock on the door where they put the porcelain doll in. When they opened the door, the doll was now standing upright, straight in front of them, staring at them. Moving on to number four, we have the death date. Again, this is a real story. This story was posted on Reddit by the user Anuvin. Basically, there was this one girl who was friends with a boy named Johnny who was suffering from cystic fibrosis. As a result, he was recently hospitalized. One day, her and her friend Shelly decided to play with an Ouija board. One of the questions they asked was about Johnny's condition. But all the board did was spell out the date, June 24th, 1987. Well, on June 24th, Johnny sadly passed away. That's crazy. It just shows you how powerful these spirits are and how much they know about us and our lives. In our third spot, we have the injuries. Demons or evil spirits are very, very powerful and should never be underestimated. If you come in contact with one while playing, then they could physically or mentally harm you. In fact, one man who played with an Ouija board claims that he woke up with sore, unexplained bruises all over his body. Another woman was playing with the board when she felt like she was being choked. She couldn't breathe and later there were bruise marks on her neck. Other players claim that they have been scratched by entities and one even claims that after using the board, he was pushed down the stairs by something that they had contacted. In our second spot, we have Zozo. Using an Ouija board puts you at risk for contacting an evil demon known as Zozo. On March 24th, 2009, the presence of Zozo first came to light when a man named Darren Evans shared his interactions with Zozo online. He was playing with a board when he contacted a spirit who called itself Zozo. At first, according to Evans' account, the interactions with Zozo were seemingly harmless. He experienced noises, moving objects, and flickering lights. Then he started getting scratches and bruises on his skin. During one session with Zozo, he had to rush into the bathroom where his girlfriend was giving their one-year-old daughter a bath. His girlfriend was gone and the tub was overflowing and his daughter was drowning. He believes that Zozo was behind this. Now you see, tons of other people have come forward and claimed that they have also come in contact with a spirit that calls itself Zozo. It is said to target mentally unstable and vulnerable users. Zozo even has been linked to murders and suicides throughout the world. In fact, this entity dates back to 1816. It is mentioned in the book Dictionnaire Infernal by Colin DePlancy. This book tells the story of a young girl who gets possessed by three demons. Mini, Capulet, and Zozo. It's said that if Zozo reveals itself while you're using the board to end the session immediately before you become his next victim. And in our number one spot, we have the death. This reason alone should prevent you from playing with an Ouija board. It is said that the board can kill you. Well, not the board itself. Although I'm sure some people have used it as a weapon sometime in their life. But no, the board itself isn't deadly, it's the spirits you get in contact with that are. So evil spirits can kill you in multiple ways. They could cause you to get a viral disease by attacking your immune system. They can manipulate you mentally so that you end up taking your own life. Or they can cause unexplained accidents. In fact, one girl claims that a spirit that her and her friends contacted was responsible for her friend's mother's death. Apparently, after contacting the spirit through the board, a week later, her mom's friend died suddenly from cancer. Then the same week, her own mom was rushed into the emergency room, but thankfully, she survived. In another account, a girl says that her grandmother was killed after messing with an Ouija board. Later that day, her grandmother was struck and killed by a distracted driver. So not only do Ouija boards have the power to take your life, but they can also kill your loved ones too. And that's all for today's video. I hope you all see how scary and dangerous Ouija boards can be. And if you do play with one, I suggest not. Please be safe. Let me know in the comments below what's the scariest thing that has happened to you while playing with an Ouija board. Now let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from my video Top 10 Scary Internet Urban Legends Part 6. Mr. Big Cookie commented, there's a movie on Hulu about black eyed children called They Come Knocking. Wow, I'm gonna add that onto my list of movies to watch because now I'm curious and I wanna know what it's about. Is it a documentary? I don't know, I gotta search it. Darnay Essex commented, this is why I always look under my bed with a Nerf gun loaded. Yes, because a Nerf gun is gonna defend you against a wild attacker. That's good, great. Lucy commented, that woman is really gorgeous AF and she's good to tell the stories. I wish her a great day. Well, 
thank you. I'm sure she appreciates it and she wishes you a great day as well. <laughs> and that's all the comments I've shown out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see you.